What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shets React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll now, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Time to stop work. I just have to finish a few things off. No, no, you can do it tomorrow. Let's go home. Did you ever stop to think that maybe the reason why Germans are so famous for their work ethic and efficiency is because they actually respect their working hours and therefore their free time? In my opinion, German working culture is actually pretty great. Let me explain why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a work environment like that, what's happening here is that your supervisor is being loved on by the boss, mm -hmm. which is, you know, um, equivalent to the supervisor loving on the co-workers. Mm. Yeah. Happy. The person in the middle has to be happy. Right. If that person in the middle is happy. Now no one gonna pay the cost. Uh uh. Because they are gonna be listening to the boss like baby and telling the workers just do what you do. Yeah, yeah. But if they love them, they'll give that love. Mm hmm. Good salaries and flexible working hours are super important to Germans. Salaries in Germany are typically higher than they are in the UK or other European countries especially when it comes to public sector jobs like teaching. Although this does, of course, depend on the sector that you're working in. But talking about salary is still a difficult issue here. Although there are hopes that this will change with a pay transparency law. German bureaucracy is notorious and the amount of paper used is astronomical. The Germans print everything. It's no wonder digitalization is just limping along here. <laughs> really? The average German works for almost 40 years, which is considerably higher than the European average. The typical working day is 9 to 6 or 8 to 5. The minimum amount of holiday is 20 days a year, but most people get even more than 30. You're fully expected to take all those days, so you don't need to feel guilty or stressed about taking holiday. <clears throat> the same goes for sick days. Okay, hold on. What is the average age that a German begin working? Like, do y'all start working during y'all teenage years, or is it after you graduate college or university? Because when she said 40, I'm like, but I'm thinking it just depends on when they start working, you know? Yeah, yeah. And we ain't talking about, like, the cutting the grass or throwing newspapers for your fam or something like that. Like, talking about, like, a really non to type of job, a career <laughs> job, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Achoo. You don't need to feel guilty about taking a day off work due to sickness and nobody's going to ask you any questions. You can normally have three days off before you need a doctor's note and sick days are usually paid. One thing office workers argue about most often is whether to open or close the window. Germans love fresh air at work. Okay, we need to talk about the gender pay gap. Women earn on average per hour almost uh -oh. a fifth less than men. Compared to the rest Air of too? Europe, Germany has one of the huh. highest gender pay gaps. This is for multiple reasons. Women are often more likely to work in part-time jobs, work in lower paid jobs, or negotiate less money. A women's quota was introduced in 2016 so that at least 30% of newly appointed board positions in listed companies need to be women. What's it like in your country? When we talk about business, it's a known fact that women here gets paid less than men. Um, depending on the job sector and all of that, but that's general, right? And I, I, I don't want to bring this up because it don't relates to y'all, but y'all know everything we watch on the channel, we always share our experiences as well. But here, minorities get paid less than white counterparts too. No, so we yeah. not only have gender pay, uh, wealth gaps, but we have minority wealth gaps as well. Yeah. Mm, that is true. <laughs> Germany is actually one of the countries in Europe where people work the least, probably because they actually stick to their working hours. But the desire for a better balance between gainful employment on the one hand and private life on the other is definitely growing, and surveys show that more and more people are feeling overwhelmed with their workload. Really? The Berlin Social Science Center is researching the issue. And what is the younger generation's attitude toward work? Is Gen Z really that work shy? Work researcher Lena Hip can tell us. I wouldn't say they are lazy. I think they have somewhat different priorities. Mm -hmm. They don't put 
paid work, employment above all else uh, um, in the world. And I think this is, can also have really beneficial elements. You know, if you think about democracy, you know, people need to engage. You know, you also have to have time for raising kids, for taking care of elderly people. So I think there's also positive aspects of this. And, you know, just because you don't want to work 40 hour plus does not mean that you are a lazy person. I like How does work culture in Germany actually developed over the last few years? twice as many people work from home nowadays as they did in the time before the pandemic. And of course, this changes, you know, how people interact at the yeah. workplace, how they organize meetings. Overall, the labor market is doing pretty well. It's easy for employees to find a new job. Employers are looking for new personnel. They are really having sometimes a hard time finding adequate um, employees. And organizations try to fill this by um, attracting women, in particular mothers, to join the labor force. They also seek to attract workers from other countries to fill these open positions. Okay. okay. Now, one thing I got to give it to Gen Z. Gen Z get a bad rep sometimes, but I feel like Gen Z, they're the generation that came in and they didn't want to go through anything that they didn't have to go through. Yeah. You know, for us, you know, we still, we're millennials, so we're a part of the, you know, we enjoy working. I know American work life is a little different, well, a lot different from y'all, but we enjoy working, enjoy, you know, growing in companies and, um, you know, All that. we like that. But Gen Z is like, and I'm not doing more than my job description. Man, that is facts. <laughs> Gen Z is the ones who says, y'all are at my mercy. And I feel like the world, mm -hmm. you know, has to cater to what the Gen Z is like starting to say what they find useful mm -hmm. or what they find helpful, like mm -hmm. they're prioritizing. Um, so I feel like the corporation are having to turn things around to fit the narrative of who coming into the building. Yeah, the new generation of people. I feel like that's what it's supposed to be like, though. It has been very interesting watching what happened after the pandemic. Yeah. Um, with people, you know, not used to being people who work from home. Because remember in the beginning, everybody was like, this is weird. We're at home. I still got to work. I'm trying to balance wearing clothes. Remember, that was this whole trend on um, social media with people changing their dress style for home, work from home clothes. And at the end of the pandemic, hardly anybody wants to go back to work. Here, at least, you know. Yeah. So I would love to know, like, what, how was it there in Germany? Did people go back to work? Because I did hear that they say they're trying to get people from other countries to come fill these roles. How was that? Yeah, and I'm curious to know how you guys get in Gen Z to work. Like, what are the things that y'all put in place for them to, feel, you know, to feel interested in and say, hey, I have to get this type of job. This job suits my personality more. Mm -hmm. Or this labor isn't too much work for me. Even if the salary not, you know, su suitable for them, what is something that you guys have in place for them to feel comfortable with working in y'all work environment? But the labour shortage in Germany is nothing new. As a consequence of World War II, male workers in particular were in short supply. This is why Germany invited guest workers to come from other countries. Many Italians, Turks and Greeks came to Germany in the late 1950s and into the 60s and stayed. Now their children and grandchildren are living here and shaping German culture. All right, now you're all clued up on German working culture. Here's some vocab you need to know. Feierabend. This directly translates to celebratory evening, but it actually just means the end of the working day. Gehaltswunsch. This is your salary request, which is typically mandatory on job applications. Okay, that's different. Gleitzeit. Oh, really. Flexi time. This means you have a fixed number of hours, but you can choose more or less when you want to take them. Unbezahltes Praktikum. This is an unpaid internship, which is generally illegal in Germany unless you're a working student or if it's for longer than three months. Otherwise, it's a requirement to be paid minimum wage at 12 euros an hour. But that's still a benefit though, wouldn't it? Even if you're not getting paid, you will have a definite job when you finally graduate. Ain't that how it's supposed some to cases, work? In some cases, yeah. yes, but most of the time it's just for experience and, you know, field work. Nah, this should get a little something. <laughs> it should get a little something. I see the benefit of it, but at the end of the day, still, you should get a little something. Yeah, well, one of my internships, I didn't get paid. And see, the type of person, I'm millennial. Yeah. I was doing more work than I was supposed to do. You know, I was I was a star, maybe. I, I wanted to learn I other roles it. and everything, and yeah. I didn't get paid a dollar. 
I got an A. Mm-hmm. That's what you got. That's what you got an A. <laughs> That's what it is. Yep. That's all we've got time for. It's 6 p.m., which means it's fire abend, which often comes hand in hand with a fire abend beer. Personally, it took me some time to assimilate into the working culture here, but now I really appreciate the work-life balance. What's it like in your country? Let us know in the comments. Ooh, child, work-life balance in the United States. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. We work until we die. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have my hands on it some regardless if I'm on a job or I'm off the job. I got to stay active with doing something that's, like, yeah. complementary to who I am, regardless what yeah. it is. Like, I got to stay busy. Yeah, I mean, I say work until we die. It's true. But, it's a true you know, statement. Once you, like, start discovering different things that can help you attain wealth, mm-hmm. like looking into different life insurance policies and, um, you know side hustles <laughs> that would eventually replace income um all of those things like it's you know but then again when you think about that it's like you still work until you die i don't i mean we, we uh, having man. fun we have fun even the retirees <laughs> they still working i'm exactly I'm pretty that's sure. what i was saying they that. are still being active with something they really enjoy to do in life yeah regardless if it's pain them or not they're still working though yeah that's all i, I wanted to say that. and another thing you had mentioned earlier is like with the um the negotiating with the pay raise and all this stuff not the pay raise to so get paid a certain amount when you get on a job i feel like we have that here but it's not as uh I, I feel like it's not as frequent unless you get on the job and you're trying to work your way up and then you can kind of get like a demand in that door yeah but when you're getting on the job i feel like they have a set pay to say what they kind of want you to well get. see that depends on the industry and especially after you get like certain degrees and certificates behind your name mm-hmm. you have more of a that is true yeah, yeah. of requesting a certain amount and negotiating a certain amount mm-hmm. so i mean yeah we we just we 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 having fun Working to live. <laughs> Can't complain about it. You get yeah. the bills paid, so yeah. you get to do what you like. So can't yeah. get mad at that. Yeah, so that's all we have for y'all today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>